Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 8 of our Spiral Hero's Tale playthrough. And we made it here to Amuni Bags. And I think I bought a key at the end of the last episode. No, I didn't. I just ended the episode for whatever reason. Um, we can't technically break that yet. So we're in Cloudy Domain, which is where the next Elder is. So that's pretty cool. I don't actually remember a lot about this world. What's that do? Uh oh. It created two um, ground poundy pads here, which is interesting. The music here is actually really good. Oh, it activated this pathway. Um, do I have... I did. Oh god, this platform is so... Can that big chungus over there move? Like, I literally can't do anything until he moves. Yeah, that was me. I clicked the wrong button. Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the bed. Okay, luckily, that little mini puzzle-esque thing, whatever you want to call it, stayed. Yeah, that in this game is not as convenient as the original game, because of the way the controls are, they're completely backwards to what they normally are. Also, what is this, and why is it blue? Oh, they're gems. Oh, well, I meant to kill you, but sure. I'll happily not kill you. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot to look at the map. Oh, weird. Anyways, let's open this and hope it's a gem or an egg. Now oh, we got another uh, flame egg, I'm gonna call them, because it looks like a flame. Even though I do know what they uh, give you. Alright, we got another up de wup de platformy. And another looks like it's uh, like a transportation platform. I think what's annoying is these platforms technically spiral around, see? So they look awkwardly annoying when you're trying to sit on them. There we go. Oh god, remember it's square, not not circle in this game, man. Now, those little guys that shoot you from the sky, you do actually get an ability in this game to deal with them. And I'm pretty sure they got the inspiration for that ability from uh, Spyro... Year of the Dragonfly? Year of the Dragonfly? Not Year of the Dragonfly, Enter the Dragonfly. And these platforms, they eventually <clears throat> shrink and disappear. They're kind of actually a cool platform. They shrink from the inside out. Or, no, I think it's whatever ring you step on. So it's kind of an interesting one, I like it. <clears throat> uh, excuse my annoying throw. Oh, that's the. This is the rocket for the beginning of the level. So that's where that is. Oh, never mind. That was not actually the. And I almost clicked the wrong button again. Okay, why does it keep doing that movement? That's that's what keeps getting me in this game. That's already two. Now it's two. That was weird. Alright, now we can go back to the beginning. And we can buy another key while we're here. Oh yeah, the balloon ones. This is kind of like a mix of Spyro games. Because there's like Spyro 2 and... Or Spyro 1 and 3 enemies here. Now, where was that other platform? There's one back here, it says. Oh, we can't go that way yet. Okay, so we don't have to worry about exploring that. And then obviously this is going to open up this door. Alright, even though I hit you with my flame breath, you were still able to completely swing that axe and neuter me. Nice, Spyro didn't want his balls anymore anyway. Is that supposed to be a challenge? The challenge here is these janky cameras. Thank you! Is he gonna open up that for me? That'd be nice, but... This is number one of three. Oh, it's gonna repair that, that turbine over there. 
Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. I believe there's a Sergeant Bird thing here too. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I believe there is. Oh, is that the rocket for the beginning of the level? I'm pretty sure that one is. No, it's not gonna be. Why would it be? It's not the beginning, but it was worth something, I guess. Those are like the least useful items in this entire game, by the way, those bombs. Because like, you're supposed to go into first person and use them, but they're just so bad that they don't really do anything. Also, we haven't really had to use the electric breath yet. I know there's a section in the first part there that we did. Or like, in the first... Is that supposed to be a challenge? Also, where am I supposed to go? There's a fly flying in my face in the middle of winter. Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to jump here. Elder's Homestead. Well, we found the Elder, which is good. Now, will his power-up be good? Oh, you actually have a shield. I believe that's the first time any of them have had a shield, and... But what's this? You'll need 40 light gems to power the gadget. Come back when you have them, the supercharge will be activated. Okay, that's a supercharge. Yeah, so this is gonna be another one where we can't technically progress until we get the supercharge. I believe this opens up the door. Now, which um, elder did they pick in, from Spiral 1, and what did they do to his voice? Go ahead, Spiral. I actually have no idea who this is. Oh, Spiral, yes, I've been expecting you. I hear you. What? Excuse me. Oh, it's no one. I hear you've been quite inquisitive about Red! Well, yeah, but everyone seems to be avoiding the issue. Can you tell me any more about him? About Jim? I don't know any Jim, but Red ended up being banished from the Order of Dragons for his terrible crimes! And I've not seen him in years. He and I used to be friends until he turned evil. Then we drifted apart. You know how it is. Like ships in the sky. Do you know that you could deflect some projectiles with your wings by using them as a kind of shield? Fold your wings in front of you like this. Do you like origami? This will allow you to deflect blunt objects. Bear in mind, Spyro, sharp objects will still be able to penetrate your wings and harm you. Hello? Okay, so what did they do to Titan? They made Titan, one of the most bad arts guys from Spyro 1, into a... Uh, a senile old man, so yeah. You can deflect projectiles. Which honestly isn't that useful. Like, it's not that bad. But it's it's not that good either. Let's be real here. Oh, wait a minute. I see. It's the only way we're going to defeat the balloon guys. Because unlike Spiral 1, I believe these guys... Wait, that deflected it, but it just straight up didn't do anything. I guess technically we're not supposed to deflect them. Fly away. This is just some nutty platforming here. I think you can technically just use it as protection though. Oh, even though you don't need to. <laughs> Alright, this is another light gem. So all, all this was for was the light gem. That's cool. How many do we have? Where do you have half the light gems, but only two out of seven eggs and only one crystal? Huh. I don't think we can get enough light gems, though, just the way it is to get um, the supercharge. Because I think we need the supercharge to get in here. Why did you do that when I was going this way? Whatever. It can get me hurt, so it's not really much of an issue. It's still annoying, but not game-breaking this time. Alright, you're dead. Strong doors, you'll need supercharge or cannon blast. 
Supercharged gadget. Okay, I thought it said, like, aura gadget, and I was like, okay. So we can't go that way. But it looks like we should be able to go around here. Wait, what? Is this the way I need to go? Am I supposed to be doing it like this? Or is there another way I'm supposed to do this? Because I'm confused. I think it's supposed to open up a, plat a path somewhere. Like, where are we supposed to go? Um, this is confusing. This level is one of those ones that... I felt like should have been made for a totally different game, or like, one with flying in it. Can you open up this door for me, sir? Do you actually open up the door? You're a brave dragon going after Red. You'll find that wing shield ability I showed you to be quite invaluable. Look, I can still wink. Okay, that's not at all what I th was hoping you'd say, or do. Yeah, and then over there is just that one thing. But then, like, there's an entire area, like, over there. Like, oh, there's the um Sergeant Bird portal up there. See, like, there's all that. And never mind, that door only opens up the back there. That doesn't really do anything either. This guy's also got a wretched. Wait. He hit me without hitting me. But wait, Supercharge wouldn't do anything there, so there's gotta be... There's gotta be a way not to fall down and plummet to your death game? Like seriously, what was that? That little hitbox prevented you from just running into it and... Is there like a switch in here? No. I feel like what we're missing is a switch, and I don't know exactly where it is, because we hit that one. Is there another one around here somewhere? Like maybe on this island or something? Oh wait, a firebomb. I was beginning to wonder if anything ever dropped those, because like watch, if you use the... Wait, why are you falling? Yeah, no, see, they're not strong enough to break that. Wait a minute, did we ever go down there? Go ahead, Spyro, if you've got money to spend, I think we did. Yeah, see, Simon's not strong enough to break those. Okay, where can we go? Like, there's something we're missing. Wait. Did I ever go down here? I did go over here, but I, why didn't I grab those? There's an entire island somewhere that we haven't gone to yet, though. Because yeah, we did do all that. Like, I'm pretty sure we're just missing something. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. This is the first... Wow. There's that weird spinny camera I got again. Man, this is just frustrating. Like, the fact that the whirlwind just doesn't automatically bring you up in this game anymore is a huge downgrade from the first, like, 10 billion Spyro games. I s still think we're supposed to go over this way. Wait a second. No. Cause like... Are you not going to... I had to straight up look at you? Like, is there something over here we have to do? Cause... Thank you.
I love how, like, I just have to literally move the camera, like, an eighth of an inch, and then he attacks me. That, I don't even know if that guy can hit me. Wait a minute, what's that over there? I don't think I can hit that from here, but... Yeah, see, there's nothing over here. This is literally just that. There's no switch, there's no anything. That's annoying. Well, hello there, Spiro the Droids. Wait a minute, am I supposed to actually have... I know what the issue is. We need to go and get. We need to go and get other. Oh yeah, we need to go here. We actually need the supercharge for this world because technically, Sunken Ruins is the second level. Hang on. Um. Our schmeck shirk schmeck. Wanna see something funny with electric breath, by the way? Oh, I thought it. I thought it worked. I thought it was supposed to be able to break armor. Maybe that's ice breath. Yeah. Spoiler alert. There's ice breath. Oh my god, crabs. Alright, that's not gonna do anything to these guys. Electric breath. Really not that useful. Wait. I heard you attack, unless it was the guy beside him. I don't even know. That was just weird. The cool thing is, though, is you can destroy those. That's, that's my favorite part about the breath attack, is the fact that you can destroy metal crates with just your breath. Um... Oh wait, that one's to go up there, okay. Oh, it's another light gem! Exactly what we needed. Now, do you think there's anything over there other than gems? No, I don't really feel like grabbing those gems. They're not super mandatory, so who cares? Only after I record this episode of the game, I'm gonna record some Ratchet & Clank Size Matters, which is a game that I've been wanting to let's play for years and just, um, never got around to. Like, I did for a while, and then I just, I was back when I couldn't do a uh, live commentary. The only video uh, recording thing I had was, like, uh, what's it called? It was, like, for post-commentary could only record game audio and no microphone or anything like that so it was like really bad and I remember recording I think it was like part one or part two and falling asleep mid recording not because I was bored because I was just sick at the time and it was it was really funny because I could just hear myself in the video because I had edited in everything and it was just like what the heck happened you know which way was it that we need to go this way Alright, let's kill off this Nork. And we'll continue to almost get hit by a giant spiky seashell. Oh yeah, because this is... Wait, yeah, there's still an entirely separate Dark Gem after this one, too. Jesus, man, there's so many Dark Gems we still have to do. Anyways, that's another one. We're at 14 now. We need to get to 20. This is only the third one here. Alright, we'll raise everything up out of the water. Which means we get more of that stupid pole vaulting thing. At least the pole vaulting actually has like a purpose in this game, unlike some other things. Well, we're in the water now, so I guess we'll go down here and collect some stuff. That's gonna be another thing is the pole vaulting is just janky, so... Also, I hate that you don't pick up the gems automatically from the enemies. Or those, apparently. Like, who just wants to sit around, wait for an enemy's death animation, and then collect the gems? Like, come on. 
Spyro was never like that. Even in like the worst Spyro games on like Game Boy or even Enter the Dragonfly wasn't that bad. Just like whirlwinds are weird now. I feel like they almost wanted this to be an RPG. Like the even like when you're watching like the opening cutscene and it tells you about the story, you just question like I think I did it too low again. You just really question, like, what the whole, like, plot of the game was supposed to be. Like, they, they act like it's, like, some kind of war, battle, epic RPG-style game, and then it's not. It's just Spyro the Dragon, but with weird controls and slightly changed mechanics. It doesn't really do much for the game. Why did I do it again? I just like, oh yeah, I'll make it. Was it last episode that I did that other challenge, or was it this episode that it? No, it was last episode because this episode we started in the uh, cloudy domain. Okay, this time I'm gonna wait. Also, why am I going to the to the right so much? Why do you keep spinning around? I'm literally not even changing the con like how I hold the controls or anything. Are you serious, game? The last one and you decide to hit the wall? Like, what is that? Also, the f serious fact that literally you do not pick up the gems is just annoying. Like, collecting gems is one of the most satisfying things in any Spyro game, and they somehow managed to ruin that. See, like, there's weird sliding. And I don't think it's the game. I think it's my controller or something. He grabbed that! Did you see that? He, like, literally got stuck on the pole. Like, what kind of game is this today, man? Uh... And then he flies right through the pole. Hitboxes in video games are one thing that have always, I, apparently, been extremely difficult to do. Can you stop spinning around when I'm... <sighs> Don't get angry, it's just a video game, but uh, this is becoming bolt. Get in the whirlwind! The longer I play this game, the more stupid it gets. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. So far so good. Okay. <clears throat> How was I supposed to know that's only as high as it went and it would go down immediately? Alright, what if I just don't hold down or hold the A button at all? Or I guess the X button. A button on my controller, X button. I guess if you're playing... Never mind, you have to. Okay, this episode and last episode are definitely going to have some editing. Whether I cut it out entirely, speed it up, or just make it a funny moment type thing, I don't know. But you'll, you'll see my failures probably, just in a funny way. Like, who likes to be... I'm tempted to just end the video here and never play this game again. Like, this is getting stupid at this point. I got Looney Tunes to play on my phone, man. I want to, uh... Yeah, I know, that sounds dumb. Phone games. Who plays phone games in 2023? I play it in Marvel Snap, just because they're fun. Well, I don't know if they're necessarily fun or just like aggressively addicting and not in a good way. Okay, no, I'm just ending the episode here because I clearly made that and in the next episode what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut to where we actually get to the canon. So see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.